Hey, yeah, I'm back. Um, I didn't uh, I didn't get a snack. I just went to the bathroom and grabbed another drink out of my mini fridge here. Uh, if I have a snack, it'll be later. I'm not really that hungry since I just ate dinner a couple hours. Uh, I mean, it's been four hours now, but I don't know. I could keep going. I don't really have anything that I could just quickly grab and, and munch on. Oh, wait, I do. I have the, the beef jerky. I will, I'll probably crack into one in a little bit, just because this isn't a game that really needs a ton of, uh, active input. But yeah, we're back. This is part two, if you're watching this on YouTube, probably a separate day, upload. This is gonna build up a weird, like, backlog now, if I stream the rest of this week. I'm just gonna have games going up days after I recorded them. Anyway, we just finished chapter two of Fuga 2, and we're gonna <coughs> do the intermission and move on to chapter three. Uh, nothing new there. I gotta remember I have those items, too, because they could help me. I've gotten no, uh, money. Except for those unknown trinkets, which are only worth... Well, they're worth a fair bit, I guess. Rusty coil. Material for the grenade launcher. Blueprints. Material for the workshop. Oh! I need two blueprints and two rough tools, so we should just buy those. They're cheap. Those are cheap. Oh, that's sell. Whoops. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Go back. Never mind. Well, that was stupid of me. Can I, uh, can I just reload that? Fuck, wow. Way to ruin it. I take a two- I take a five minute bathroom break and then I come back to- to just absolutely screw it up. Pallets of- okay, so we're still here. Wait, that was only 13 seconds before though. Does it really save after I fucking sold the shit? No, it doesn't. Well, d it did, but it, it didn't at the same time. I, it's it's kind of hard to say. Cabbage seeds level one, moo sheep level one. You can only buy one of each. Oh, good, and once you have them, that's it. They're just gone. Oh, the shit I sold is still gone. Wow, that sucks. Thought I had more money than that. Well, that blows. Headed for the border, are you? It's further out in the fringe than ever now with that ga- all well, now that Gasco is all broken up. A friend in the Gasco forces tell me the airborne support units the enemy uses are quite the pain. Says if you ever come across any, take down the flyers first. Keep that in mind. We've taken in young boys and girls often by the war a year ago. It breaks my heart to see the conflict raging on even though the war is at an end. The work you do is invaluable. We'll put an end to this conflict. We'll change the world for them. We'll put an end to this conflict. Actually, no. We'll, we'll keep going, uh... Empathy until we get another ability. Thank you, young one. Your words mean more to me than you might think. May the winds of fortune be ever upon you. Here to browse. Got a couple of special sets ordered. Might not look much, much but in the right hands by the pack, but I don't have any money. You got it. Thanks, as always. Two iron scraps, two rusty barrels. Ugh. Cap Divio. Lorsqu'ils arrivèrent au port, ils remarquèrent une foule d'enfants. So cool, so? I wonder what's going on. Maybe I should go check it out. Hey, D. Hey, what's with the crowd? Something happening? They're rolling out a new arc of the adventures of Sucre in the comic pages. Is it Sucre or Sucre? Sucre. Sucre. And to top it all off, they're giving out free issues with the first chapter included just over there. Mm. Wow, that's great. 
guy handing out the comic pages is dressed up like Count Nuvaloon from the Adventures of Sucre, too. It's like he came out of the comic to give us the comic. Kind of freaky, but also cool. <laughs> is that so? Sounds pretty interesting. Wait. I should pick up an issue for Hack. I'm sure Sox would be thrilled to read it, too. Welcome to Cosplay Kids. Thank you! Huh. Come, my friend, step right up. <laughs> oh, you really do just look like Count Novaloon. So? Well, well, another cultured lad, well versed in the adventures of Sucre, I presume. That's right, Count Novaloon. My friends are huge fans. Ooh. I read too, but my friends are the biggest fans. <laughs> I'm delighted to hear you all read it together. I'll bet your friends would be thrilled to, mount ca to meet Count Novaloon in the flesh like this, no? Yeah. They'd be over the moon. I'm sure you'll appreciate this then. Here you are, the first episode in the new arc of the Adventures of Sucre. For your reading pleasure. I'm going to keep going back and forth on that pronunciation. Well, see. Thank you so much, Count Novalune. Serialized comic. You, you will receive new pages to progress the game. Be sure to collect them all. You can check the obtained pages by going to the library in the main menu. When the islands split off, so did my home, my fields, my life. I don't have this. You can make things right again. At least you're still alive. Sorry, kid. I know you mean well, and I know I can't just sit around like this. Wow, that is not a lot of points. No time to waste lamenting what's gone. I've heard stories of your battles out there, but you could use some materials, eh? Not sure exactly what you're after, but this here is probably the best thing I've got right now. Take it. Hope it does you some good. Baum, 88. After his defeat at the hands of a children a year ago, Baum was discharged from the Burman army in disgrace, forcing him to wander the land as an outcast with stolen. Though usually bullheaded and uncompromising, he can be composed and contemplative at times. Von Stolen, 85. After his defeat, the hand of Chilson was discharged in disgrace, forcing him to wander... Okay. His cunning allows him to slither his way out of any situation. He can also see in two directions at once. Count no Novelun. The mysterious man who delivers the latest issues of the Adventures of Sucre to the children. He models his bit looks based after Count, based on Count Nova Loon, a character from the self-same comic. I guess you could say his honor was stolen. Lhasa Apso. Once the site of an extinct volcano, the sulfur-rich lava beds were destroyed after the fragmentation of Gasco. Excavation is all but ceased following the result of loss, resulting loss of a majority of the mines. A chain of facilities constructed as interconnecting terminals for airships, the primary mode of transportation following the fragmentation of Gasco. They are currently constructed only on larger islands, but in time may soon be found across the nation. Dach's Hot Springs. A hot spring created by the rupturing land in Lapsa Apso. In current Gasco, where running water is a commodity, this natural ever-flowing spring has become a place of healing for the populace. History of Gasco 2. Parisia was the most proper, prosperous city at the time of Declaration of Freedom, and was enclosed within a circular wall to defend itself from outside threats in times when such conflicts were more common throughout Gasco. It grew into a major economic hub and acted as a de facto, ca de facto capital, regularly hosting meetings of regional representatives. Even among these representatives, the head of Gasco held significant influence, and their seat went on to become one of the most important in Gasco politics. Before long, the title of president was bestowed upon the position, one which was determined by elections among the populace of Parisia. <laughs> yeah, oof. Is that meow and woof? In the same word, like, as, like one word, I think it is. It's Adventures de Sucre. De oh, wait, it's Adventures de Sucre. Fly to the moon arc. Wow, why that happen? Sucre, a courageous 15 year old boy with a sense of justice. When push comes to shove, his wit is his weapon. Crema, Sucre's buddy and female pet owl that understands spoken language. Mela, Sucre's lively childhood friend. She tends to be a little too helpful. How's that possible? The Doctor, an oddball inventor. 
He creates some amazing inventions, even though they usually break right, right away. Professor Burry, previously an archaeology professor, he was banished from the academic, academic society after his fraud was discovered. A money grubber. Count Nova Loon, mysterious man in a mask. He persuades Professor Burry to come along and steal treasure. Episode 1. Research Institute, the Fountain of Innovation. Eureka, that's it, I found it at last! What's gotten into you all of a sudden, Doctor? Ho <laughs> ho! Hoo hoo! Is that the latest ancient script you got your hands on? Indeed, and with one with information I've sought for years! Information about the great energy source, Juno! Uh, 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 uh oh. Uh oh. You're kidding! Does this mean. What am I getting? Oh, it's. it's I, I had a bunch of Discord notices, but they were all from a server I was in. Uh, uh oh. Oh, yes, indeed, the time has come at last! I'm glad you're both excited, but does someone mind explaining to me what's going on? This is the energy source we need for a yet incomplete mode of transport. It's a rocket he thought he could never finish. One that could take his adventuring to the moon. The moon? There's no time to waste. Set a course for the ruins. I'll get things ready to go. I'm coming too. <laughs> Hoo -hoo. Hmm? Poor thing seems a little down. Be continued. Uh, so the comic is referencing an energy source that comes up in Solata Robo. That's, uh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, end cards. Whoops. There we go. Tank is all loaded up, ready to depart. All aboard! Hidden ruins in Nankeo. Nanseo. Chapter 3 The Palace of Silence. So when you're in the intermission, it's considered the next chapter, technically, on the save menu, but it really doesn't matter that much. Uh, hmm? Hey, Socks is awake. Eh. Come on, Boron, time for you to rise and shine, too. This is no time to be lazing about. Uh. Hmm? What? <laughs> Boron's awake, too. Oh, thank goodness. Lorsque Socks et Boron retrouvèrent leurs esprits, les enfants ne purent cacher leur soulagement. À côté d'eux, les deux vieux officiers Berman nigotaient les fusillaient du regard, en grommelant d'amertume. Mmh. Confound it, they would be captured by those brats once more! Eva? It was all but certain they were allies come to our rescue. Damn you cruel fates! Oh, what a raggedy bunch of rugrats like you piloting a Berman tank for, anyway! And what reason had you to fire on that tank from Gasco? It's your tank, is it not? <laughs> Shut up, will you? We're kind of busy. <laughs> Maybe we should have used more rope. Wouldn't mind trying tying a couple knots around their lips right about now. <laughs> you shall do no such thing, you cretin. I demand fair and just treatment as a prisoner of war. <laughs> <laughs> Try anything funny, and you'll see what kind of treatment you get. <laughs> <laughs> Après avoir attendu patiemment que ces deux amis récupèrent. Malte leur demanda ce qui s'était passé à bord du Taranis. I don't really remember anything at all. Yeah, same here. It was like someone kicked me out of my own brain all of a sudden. I do recall there being another person there with us. It was really weird. Like we had no choice but to do everything they told us to. Exactly. And now that you mention it, it felt like we were under some kind of hypnotic spell. So if Spell is behind this after all. Mm. May mentioned some kids she's never seen before, too. Just who or what are they? Les enfants reprirent leur poursuite du Taranis, intrigués par ce mystérieux garçon qui semblait être à l'origine de tout cela. Oran and Sox join the crew. 
Les enfants demandèrent aux deux vieillards ce qu'ils avaient fait pendant toute une année sur les terres de Gasco. We were unable to reunite with the Burman forces following our defeat at your hands. We've been roaming Gasco since that rueful day. Ever out of sight of passerby. We. Oui. One day we happened across an odd facility that resembled some kind of factory. We lived there for a time. Realizing that the strange usine in question was situated in the same direction as the Taranis, the children decided to s'y rendre. Oui. Alright, you two come with me. We'll need your help to guide us to that factory. <laughs> Spoken like a true lout. How dare you force two elders into indentured servitude? Yeah, you guys are murderers. You should be dead. There's the airship over there. We've got those old Burmans locked up in the storage room on the lower level for now. Hope they're not getting up to trouble in there. Maybe I should go check on them? At visitation hours already. Goodness, the nerve of you imprisoning us this way. Mm. Don't let your whippersnappers have any respect for your elders. <sighs> it's not like we could trust either of you. Can you really blame us? Mm. Oh, this cold, damp air is doing a number on my arthritis. Ow, ouch! <sighs> I would never have dared dreamed that my final resting place would be this overblown broom closet. Oh, why couldn't I have met an honorable end befitting a soldier? <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> I don't think it's that bad in here. Oh, fine. We'll leave the door unlocked, okay? Mm. But don't think you have free run of the place. If you need something, make sure to ask one of us to... <laughs> all right, all right. We get it. <laughs> you made the right decision, lad. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Too easy. You really are just children, after all. Mm. What's with that sinister look? Maybe we should leave the door locked, after all. No. No, 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 no. Perish the thought. I was simply pondering a way to repay your kindness. What? Is that so? We. Oui. You have a lifetime's worth of experience, wisdom, and information that may be of help to you. Consider us at your service. Bomb and Stone will present you with questions when speaking with them to the door during the intermission phase. So the correct answer from the choices provided will give you experience points. Oh, cool. Boom. Let's see if you could answer this question correctly. What happens when all the enemy weaknesses are destroyed? Their next turn is delayed. Damage increases. The next turn is delayed. Mm. Well, well, that's correct. Fluke or otherwise. <laughs> All that matters is they're correct. Excellent work. Boom. Let's stop here for now. Come back later if you could spare the time. Mm. Well, we'll see if we can fit you into our busy schedule. Wait! Harvest results. <sighs> Got a bad feeling about this. <sighs> no more quizzes now. Let us old men recuperate. Okay, so cool. So that's just a, some free EXP each, uh, each intermission. And this does turn off, uh, between... So it stays on, but the music turns off. Iron scrap. Yeah, a bug. Small bug. Dizzy. Big boy. Those times were tough, huh? We got really hungry. Upgrade the tank's armor, plant something in the garden, guy talk, guy talk, girl talk, scrap fishing, talk to someone. I want to play with the clucking in the shed. I want everyone to be happy. I don't know how to do that one. Oui? Was that voice we heard above the Tyrannus that of one who took my father's life? Many ruins have been uncovered in this region. What should the daughter of the president do now, moving forward? 
See all you could see. Act pompous. Stop worrying about being the president's daughter. See all you could see. They want you to do all the other tasks. Yeah. Figured it was something like that. Boron, would you be so kind as to tell me of your hometown? I wish to know the various corners of Gasco better. You mean Petite Mona? Sure, I could tell you lots. Petite Mona's sure is on the outskirts, huh? But I never knew until we went off to war. Doesn't have some of the stuff other places might, but it's nice and quiet. It was a real peaceful place until the Burbage showed up. Though I guess people did get awfully worked up when Malt's parents died. Actually, never mind. Let's just forget about that, okay? And please don't ask Malt about it, alright? Mm. Yes, all right then. You speak with a much slower, more relaxed cadence than the people of Parisia. It's rather comforting. Do many in Petite Mona speak as you do? No, no. Not too many, I guess. Me and my family do, though. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, is that so? <laughs> Never really met many Parisians. Does everyone talk real fast? <laughs> Not much faster than I do, I imagine. Faster than you, perhaps. <laughs> That's a relief. If they spoke any faster, I'm not sure I could even keep up. <laughs> Such a silly thing to worry about. You're an interesting character, Boron. <laughs> Is that a compliment? This is more fair. Hours of war we've experienced back then will always remain with me. Curious about something. Oh, okay, her clothing doesn't change. I was wondering if she gets like retroactive. Uh, Fuga One clothing. She does not. Alright, forgot you could do this too. Very, very weirdly loose control. Guy talk, and Malt wants to talk to someone too, so. Sava? Who's that aboard the Tyrannus? We need to keep pushing. We could save them. Eddie. Sometimes my past haunts my dreams. I'll sing you to sleep next time. Nightmares of the war. Dreams where you aren't the oldest. Tarzan. No, worse than that. Girl talk, guy talk. I want to play with the clucking in the shed. Boron wants to plant something in the garden. Cool. Oh, he's like looking at his hand, like a like a cat, like a normal cat. <laughs> we don't have plant. We don't have any cabbage, so let's plant more of that. In fact, let's plant two cabbages. the tank's armor. We could definitely do that. Most characters are just six, so we don't really have to worry about experience that much. Does 
Let's say armor, right? Yeah. Do grenade launcher too. Fantastic. Oh, you have to complete every task as long as everyone's happy or higher. Probably should do some scrap fishing, though. Uh, since I accidentally sold pieces, which is really stupid of me. You get almost nothing for selling them. Not bad. If Chick and Hack talk to each other, they, they fulfill both of their... Uh... Those old guys been running away this whole time? No way. Oh wait, no. The girl wants girl talk and the girl wants girl. That was stupid of me. Oh, they already have two with each other. Okay. I could feel hatred coming from the Tyrannus. A frightening feeling. Eh? Those old men don't seem all that bad. Perhaps we could get along. <laughs> Moderate HP recovery. Wait, Lullaby 2? Huh? Oh, Lullaby itself leveled up. That's interesting. Does it actually cost more? No, I think it's the same cost. It just heals more because I leveled up. That's cool. Dima. Do you have need of me? Just want to chat. I depend on you. It's not you I need. Maybe you. It's nice to feel of use to others. <laughs> You're so different these days, Sheena. Grandma? Am I? I've changed my appearance a bit, I suppose. Easier to move around in this outfit. Oui. You look a lot cheerier than before. It's nice. Merci. Well, thank you kindly. You seem much more mature yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to be more ladylike, like you and Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't count myself as ladylike, but I will try my best to be a good role model. Pretty much everything. Kind of tight. I feel like you didn't have this much to do this early in the game. In the previous one. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Move ahead. Three battles in a row, and then we've got something with the airship coming up. Introducing new character features. Sox uses a grenade launcher with status ailment changing skills. 
Bomb type ones that take effect after two turns are particularly powerful. Should they say yet? a yellow bomb at, on enemy that damages all enemies after two turns. Okay, so that's that new status element we saw. Yum yum shot. Attack with small HP recovery when the enemy is KO'd. Shell Festival, three hit attack on all enemies. Jumon the cube. Wooten Wooten the deer. Huge formidable tank with strong attack and armor. Since its attack is high, prioritize actions to delay it. Be extremely careful if it's with others of the same type unit, or let's use pack attack. Okay, we don't want to do that. We don't want pack attack. Oh, it's got armor. But I can do this to ignore armor. I just brute force my way through that one. someone? Maybe not. Okay, we definitely want uh, one blue and two... Wait, what? Armor situation? None. Okay. Two yellows and one blue is, is ideal here. I don't think he has a bond with anyone, so there's no point in putting someone else in that spot. HP drops, risk of status ailments for the children increases. However, the children in a tight spot, the chance for them to enter hero mode increases. This is 4,500. Okay, it's pretty decent. I like how I only got a f I like how I still got a C, even though I've only technically lost 52. Because the way it works is that it, it goes by what your current HP is minus what your... Or what your current HP was at the start of battle versus the end of battle. So even if you heal, it's a low damage received, but at the same time, it still counts the damage you received in in battle. So it's kind of it's kind of weird. It doesn't accurately reflect what your uh, actual score is for that. What was that? Surely not a weapon of the Burman Empire. They're the ghosts that always show up on whenever we catch up to the Tyrannus. Hmm, it's a conflict conflicting feeling. Witnessing these Burman tanks, not but wreckage themselves, firing upon one of their own. Hmm. Perhaps this is some form of new technology just waiting to be harnessed. 
Oh, what I would give to take these findings back to the Empire. How about you think about how we could survive this fight instead? Do anything weird and we'll hand you over to the Gasco army right away. Hmm. I know that much. Boron uses a well-balanced cannon that is shell festival for attacking all enemies. Why would they introduce that now when there's no red enemies? R. Loenzan. Support drone with high evasion rate. It doesn't attack, but will support ground enemy units by restoring their HP. Target it first to limit the damage and avoid prolonging the battle. Stand by, nothing happens. Leader skill activated. Hex is an enemy sight to miss. Nice. Perfect timing for that. Hey, my first triple S. Nice. Frenzy. Three hit attack on an enemy and number of attack increases with its consecutive use. Max six times. Wow. I skipped right past the airship. Hey. Say, just what the hell happened to your world? What happened to the Vanergand? The Vanergand? Boke tie now. We defeated it in this tank, no less. Come on. You've got to be joking. You bunch defeated the Vanergand? Huh. Guess you weren't lying. There's a data module here that backs up your story. Just to see it. Are you one of the people Jean mentioned? The ones who fought against the Vanergand long ago? Huh? Jean, alright. Alright, the AI operator of this tank. Je vois. Long ago, huh? Feels funny to hear you put it that way. But I guess quite a bit of time has passed. <sighs> the world went to shambles in the age I came from. Guess that's when you furry punks stepped in and took over. I'm gonna screenshot that for later. <laughs> I've been slumbering here in the Tyrannus all this time. <laughs> Why are you all doing this? Why are you doing all of this? What is it that you want? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll find out for yourself soon enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think the Tyrannus is a force to be reckoned with? Just wait till you see the Belenos. <sighs> Belenos. How could it be comparable to the Tyrannus? Could it be another. T oh, that's Brit saying that. Belenos. How could it be comparable to the Tyrannus? Could it be another tank? <clears throat> I still can't move a muscle. I guess I have no choice but to sit back and see where this goes. Safe route, normal route. So two battles and some more items. I don't get the HP recovery, but whatever.
I'm on my way. Okay, we need blue and red here. Okay, well, it doesn't matter what we do because this one's going to attack, so we might as well just take one out. For a health refill. All attacks become critical. Nice. BBS. Piercing shot leveled up. Uh, it's still the same though. Three hit attack with one armor rank probably just does more damage. Oh, never mind. Four hit attack with one armor rank. Increases attack by one hit. That's cool. So this straight up gives them better abilities in this game. Alright, what is this coming up? Malt and his friends received a transmission of a voice strangely familiar. Hey, you tank kids, how you holding up? Huh? I know that voice. You're the man who got us the airship from Pharaoh. We didn't give you an NPC name, so don't worry. The one and only. You got good ears. I'm an entrepreneur and I got a new business going I thought you ought to know, to know about. Ooh. What sort? One where I make use of airships to help out traveling folk like yourself. You should check it out. Select like call airship from the menu. Seven, you did it. Now, this is business here, so I'm ready to make investments. If you got stuff lying around you don't need, I'll buy it off you. Oh, so you get mid mid chapter shops. Sometimes you don't need, also make it selling valuables between for exploring ruins. Yeah. Okay, this is the sell screen. Should not be selling shit I don't need. I I, I might need. We don't really need any more of those right now. Meat we're fine on. Here are the various services available when using airships. Receive supplies for HP recovery and S receive su receive supplies for HP recovery, SP recovery, and more at airdrop waypoints. Air raid. Bomb specif specified enemy destination waypoints to destroy them. Transport. Go to another destination waypoint. Well, it looks like if I do that, I'm going to go up to the top where there are three hard enemies, and I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, but maybe. This service has moved the child's tank by airship. Aside from avoiding enemies, you may also move to a different route after passing the fork and obtain rewards there. 
Select destination. You can travel for the following course. Airship services can no longer be used upon departure. We do not believe the amount of min-maxing people do with this. Why can't I pick that one, though? This is a forbidden route. You can't choose it right now as it is highly dangerous. You might be ready to challenge it after having completed the game once. Oh, okay. So you can just reverse and do stuff over? That's interesting. Go to another destination waypoint. Anyway, thanks for lending me your ears. Hope to see you again real soon. Bye now. Airship services can be used by stopping a waypoint with an airship icon. Okay. The air waypoints don't do anything. But now the bottom route's just gone. Airship returns after dropping off a tank. Yeah, there's nothing down there. I see, so you could just do the other route. That's cool. What's this music? Is this the music I was playing before? Uh... Oh, that was so good! <laughs> Fragmented shot, attack on all enemies. Always a good ability. So they really want you to play this game more than once. You can just get the shop whenever you want. We drop air points. Airdrop point one. Copy supplies and airdrop waypoints, turn them into recovery waypoints. Oh, you have to pay extra for. Okay. Yeah, I think I might be skipping out on that. That's even more expensive. Destination could be airship is gonna be able to be used upon departure. Okay. All right. New wrinkle. So get some HP recovery and two battles, three battles HP recovery and plus. What is that option right there? Is that SP? Yeah, that's SP. I'm, I'm, I need the SP, so I'm gonna take the safe route. Savari bit. Akira too. I am a con. Hero mode. Juicy 
Well, I can do a link attack. Attack on all enemies, damage increase. And eh, not worth it right now. On the ground, increase evasion. Sorry, pretty worn out though. Yeah, second ass. It's one per part so far. Undertale. That looks like that looks like what what the thing from Undertale, doesn't it? The Everyman or whatever it's called. I just saw that, like I immediately recognized it. Are you making your way to the port? I'm passing out coupons for the shops in town. If you're interested, yes, pass the coupon out to the chat the giant tank. We have that little extra commerce so we'll have to keep the business alive in the port. We'll keep, 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 keep. We'll be shopping for materials. We need to stock up on weapons and ammo. We're hoping to buy farming supplies. Here, this coupon's good for a shop wherever you can get the materials you need. You can only use it at the port up ahead, so don't forget. Obtain a discount with the coupon for the material shop. Valid only for the shop at the next port you visit. Gasco Army must be Lieutenant Muscat. Come there, good. I don't think we make contact since we commandeer the Tarascus. Mm. I think you passed on our message so she doesn't think we stole the tank to go joyriding, Vanilla. C cool. Wait, if you stuck aboard, then there was no one to tell her what we did. Uh. Oops. Uh. Did you really board the Tarascus at the same time we did? You didn't give it our message, did you? Mm. How could I have? If I had jump hadn't jumped on right away, it would have left me behind. C this is bad. Malt, I know you and the others are there. Answer me at once. <gasps> Lieutenant Muscat, I'm sorry we took the Tarascus without asking permission. I need you to return to Pharaoh immediately. You're all putting yourselves in extreme danger. Leave this matter to us adults in the military. We have to save our friends as soon as possible. There won't be time if we go back now. We have to keep going. <laughs> and I need to avenge Father. Anya! What are you doing there? I gave Malt and the others express permission to use the Tarascus on behalf of the president. You did what? Excuse me. Over and out. Well then, shall we proceed? Why? Um, sure. Ruins time. And then we're at the halfway mark of this chapter. So You found some mysterious ruins. In this world, ruins are like this are hidden in various locations and the children can be sent to explore them. By exploring the ruins, you obtain various items, including materials to expand f f facilities. Screw the rules, I have power. <laughs> now it's like, yes, to explore the ruins. Go to the observation room found during the, during the mission to explore the ru ruins. Uh, send crew members to explore ancient ruins. Maybe you'll find something good. Only children in good condition can take part in the expedition. You can choose up to three children at once to explore the ruins. Children spent to explore will gain experience. The expedition will not result in the children getting injured or game over. Let's select the children and get exploring. Uh, it doesn't say who's what level, though. Shrine of the Forest God, level 1. You arrived at the ruins. You can obtain various items here, but watch out for traps and other dangerous monsters. If you fall into a dangerous situation, use your toy gun to overcome it. Remaining bullets for your toy gun are shown on the top left. Stock up so they don't run out. 
Children stuck in traps or attacked by monsters will become incapacitated and replaced by another child. The expedition will end when all children are incapacitated and you will automatically return to the tank. Hidden treasure chests in the ruins require a key. Try to obtain the treasure before finishing the expedition. Toy gun bullet. You can only shoot as many bullets as you have. Treasure chests will open when you get a key. Inflicts fire and damage to enemies and burns tree roots and ivy. This attribute can be received at fire crystals. Inflicts temporary paralysis to enemies and activates switches and ruins. This attribute can be lightning crystals. Enemy life. Hit with a toy gun to decrease. Items, number of items picked up. So there's a bit more to this than before. The, the elemental bullets are, are something new. This is a fire crystal which can add a fire attribute to the toy gun. If it has another attribute, that attribute will be replaced. Toy gun, the fire attribute, can shoot burning shots. Burning shots deal additional fire damage to enemies. It can also burn obstacles such as tree roots and ivy. Ruins which have these crystals will definitely have need of them, so be sure to look for them carefully. It, it really, this really is Tears of the Kingdom, like, like furry Tears of the Kingdom. So many aspects of this game match up with it. It's like I never stopped playing Zelda. I play free Tears of the King or free anything really except Armello. <laughs> You get various valuable items in ruins. Valuables cannot be used, but can be exchanged for high value in shops. You also obtain items for expanding facilities during intermission. There are various benefits to expanding facilities, so be sure to level up expendable facilities. Expandable facilities, excuse me. After I finish this intermission, I'm gonna grab a meat, a, a Jack Link's. Oh, I want to play to the guy while I go to sleep. Two people want to sleep. That's good. Socks and, uh, and hack. Oh, we! Oh, we! Want to cook in the mess room? Girl talk. Girl talk. So Sheena and uh, Vanilla, they look similar too. They just look like palette swaps. I too feel more courageous when I'm with you all. I'm hungry, want to cook in the mess room, want to talk to someone, have some guy talk. I have to give my own life than lose any of my friends. Yippee! Oh, May got lullaby. Yeah. Nice. Characters looking here. What did I say about those? What? Oh god, Chick is level 9 somehow. How did I manage that? Oh, so is Malt. Okay. Which means level 7 is kind of the outlier here. So, Boron, you need to do a little... You need to do a little legwork here. Jesus. 
Nothing that can be done there. Nothing that can be done there. If I didn't sell my blueprint, frig. Eating those meat sticks? Hey, they're healthy. No, they're not. I don't know why I said that. What's so spooky in here? No more quizzes now. Let us old men recoup. Oh, so it's only once per chapter. You could do that. Expansion does not take AP. Dad. Man, you don't get ingredients as quickly as you do in the previous game. Increases experience and affinity by 15%. That could be good. Eh. I don't remember the Vandergand. Was that just the thing that was at the end of the previous game that we fought, like, in a cutscene? The Vandergand won your pride through courage and sheer force of will, but the memory was a terrifying one they'd rather not recall. I thought we didn't actually fight that. I thought we stopped it from awakening, or whatever it was. It's really hard to remember now. Boron could definitely use... Well, I mean, Sox has nothing at this point. We, we need to start getting everyone's level 1s here. Kiskyo? It's Berman Fogies best not be up to anything, you hear me? Soul? Eh. We didn't think life in Petite Mona is what I'd consider normal now. All settled into country life, all done with the city, home is where you make it. <laughs> And now you got good friends. <laughs> How you been, Kyle? Fine, don't go worrying about me. Something about you has been on my mind, though. I'm always on your mind? D does that mean... I don't know what you were about to say, but let's just assume no. Anyway... I was gonna say, seems you've lost that old appetite of yours lately. Is there any reason for that? Have I lost my appetite? I didn't really notice, but maybe you're right. Mm. Just a thought that crossed my mind. No need to worry about it if you ain't right already. <laughs> you're starting to sound like me. No. That I am definitely not. This is more fair. Bonjour. My skills in combat shall surpass those of my dear sister. You will see. Come on, but you. Father always said priority must be on the people. The... Is, po is it possible to make this vehicle lurch less as we move? We just all put up with it. You want to get off? It's fun once you get used to it. I don't know which one of these would be the right choice. Fantastic. It is now. Perhaps I ought to give myself time to enjoy it. Bonjour. You know, Socks, I do not believe we've had the chance to converse one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Well, I, uh, yeah? Uh, is something the matter? Are you preoccupied at the moment? Désolé. 
No, I just, uh... Do an excuse. Well, sorry to interrupt. Perhaps we might chat again when the time suits you. A fair motive. Uh, okay. Do an excuse. Until then. Uh... Still cannot do it. Conversing with unfamiliar girls is still far too daunting. <sighs> Thought I'd overcome as much, but it would appear otherwise. <gasps> Goodness, this is surely my doing. Well, everyone has at least two except Socks, so we'll get Socks one more. Though he'll get one in one point with Malt, so we'll do that one immediately. Sava? Well, it's all to get back home together. That means Hannah, too. think much of it back in Petite Mona, but the whole continent really is split up now, huh? Mm. If all the towns and villages were self-sufficient, it would be of no concern. However, that's not the case. Mm. Without airships, each one will be left entirely on its own. Mm. The split must have left some of these islands in a really unfortunate circumstance. A fair motive. Indeed, more than a few, imagine. Uh. Houses have been cut off from their farmland and split in unnatural... and splits in natural waterways have cut off some supply to locations entirely. <sighs> These problems are so massive, I don't even know where to start. It'll require new inventions, not of machines, but rather of thought. Nerd. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just playing. Video games. Uh, what do I need? F okay. Who might be able to get up in two points here? Well, Chicken Hack gave it level three in another talk. Level two, level two. I don't want I want to get level ones with people just so I can get their link attacks, though. I don't think I'll be able to get Brave Shock with him. Oh, he already got it. Never mind. All right, you know what? We'll do chicken hack just because they they they're close to. That's more rare. Sadia? Sure, it's cheery now that we have more people on board. All right, the link thing is every two every level. Meters almost filled. Kyle and uh, Malt, two, five, and ten. Yeah, I've never gotten any of the level threes in the original. Are... Eddie. Hard to believe how peaceful it was after the war. Let's win back that peace. Wait. Yeah, no time to reminisce, is there? That's just about everything. What's man? Yes, this is most definitely where we hid out. It's quite a large structure, though. We didn't venture too far in. Oui. Something about the place perturbed us to no end. Les enfants avançaient prudemment à travers les ruines de l'ancien monde, sans perdre trace du Taranis qui se dirigeait vers le fond du complexe. Crusade Temple. Look at these new enemies. The 
Singeto. Created from a serious technology, its armor rank goes up with each turn, making it difficult to defeat if the battle is prolonged. Unleash strong attacks on it from the start to defeat it quickly. Okay. Charge. Count down to self-destruction. Mariko, it's a small flying type with high evasion created from mysterious technology. Its attack is low, but it will charge and self-destruct after a certain period. So defeat it quickly or defend to lower the damage. Oh, we're in we're in, we're not in a uh, good position here because we got low accuracy on these. <laughs> I'm not going to attack yet. Oh, it is. Never mind. Wait. Sucks. Self destruct. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. About about the same as a heavy hit from another enemy. Safe route in the top, normal route in the bottom, and then also the dangerous route down in the middle, which uh, I think it's not worth doing that. This route might be worth it. Normal route should be fine, but I think um, I think taking the dangerous route is a really bad idea. Dangerous route is three hard fights, three items with one of them being good, two items and a health refill, but also three fights. I will take that route. Are, Oniva. I'm here to have a fun time, not a hard time. I remember last time I did something where I did like three hard routes in a row, and then I got my ass kicked at the very end, and I had to redo like all of it, and I was just pissed. <laughs>
Small, a little bit ahead, but it's fine. Chapters are starting to get long now. Delay all enemies, perfect. Perfect. Took that battle out before it became a pain. and ghetto. Variation of the with very high armor rank. You'll flee the battle after a certain period, but if you defeat it quickly, you can obtain an item that can be exchanged for a high amount of cash. G. Morikos. Variation of the with extremely high evasion. Flee the battle after a certain period, but if you defeat it quickly, you can obtain an item that can be exchanged for a high amount of cash. Okay. Anyone else have a link bat? Anyone's whole link attack that's ready? percent attempt attack chance to hit on that wow even those even the machine gun only does 50 percent stand by nothing happens Okay, so they're not afraid to attack. Zero percent chance. Wow, technique E, SSE. That's a, that's a wild uh, level of uh, grading right there. Got three golden screws. Screws though. Hmm. I wonder if those old fogies are still getting along okay. Maybe I should check in on them. Sava. Think still all right with you two? No problems. <sighs> Problems? We've had nothing but problems. Hear me out now, boy. Mm. Actually, I think I'll pass. Just wanted to make sure you were fine, and it looks that way, so... Mm. Patience, young man. We're old and near the end of our days. At least allow us to speak our mind. Mm. Let's keep it short and to the point, then. What seems to be the problem? Mm. We do not ask for much, see, but we could do with some Berman cuisine for a change. Mm. I wouldn't even know where to start. Not sure I could help you there. Okay. How oh, woe are we, Stolen? Fated to spend a year here awaiting death without so much a morsel of food from home. Uh. Have faith, Bomb, old friend. Ah, uh, the boy is our only hope. Surely he will see to it we are not made to suffer. <sighs> uh, fine, I'll work off what Brits has told me and see if I can find something in town somewhere. 
Excellent. We shall await your return, my boy. See if you can't find a keg. Well, perhaps maybe just some sausage. Mm. Sausage, right, got it. But this boy has a name, you know. It's Malt. <laughs> right, yes, the young Malt boy. Your assistance will surely grant us longevity. <sighs> I'm sure it will. Empathy Resolution Event Reward. 60 coins. Okay. Seems like such a pittance. We definitely want the normal route because we want that SP refill immediately. Oh. You do three hard battles and then get a bunch of good items. Or I could do two easy battles and get pretty much the same minus one pickup. It's the normal route. I'm not. I'm not ready to face my death here. Try to avoid the dangerous routes when possible. going on here. No point really delaying the, the cargo guys if we're not doing anything that makes them take action. That's like perfect when that occurs. It's like there's no chance of it not working. Sean! Normal attacks delay the enemy. Cool. We got him. We got the Muskels. Three kids rescued. Hooray, yeah. Already at the next interview. Wow, we're already... Okay, never mind. This chapter seemed long, but... I guess it kind of went by quicker than I thought. Sleep. I want to put the moose sheep and the cluck in. So that, so just g putting moose sheep and cluck in will uh, do those two. I want to expand the animal farm. <laughs> and that means I could pro I probably can do that. Yeah. 
Salut bête Plant some vegetables. Do that as well. Oh, that arrow is not the arrow is just the menu thing. Okay. okay. People are hungry. Let's have a fair. Some new foods. Nodo, critical rate 15%, attacks by 20%, sauerkraut, coleslaw, increases speed, negative 3, Parisian flan, increases experience and affinity. Right, let's make some nodo. You got a brig in there? Yeah. We we were holding two of the guys from the first game hostage. Not well, they uh, they approached us and we tied them up. <laughs> Rage increases attack and luck, but slightly decreases accuracy for five turns. Children discovered an entrance to a decrepit old world ruin. Unbeknownst to them, it was actually a temple. One of the secret facilities once run by Crusade. The organization responsible for creating the Tyrannus. I didn't know that. That was, That's spoilers for stuff that still hasn't come up yet. Also, I just noticed now it's still playing the same music. Sleeping takes a lot of time. Girl talk with vanilla. Made it this far. Should be a piece of cake saving everybody else. This helmet's seen a lot of use. Looks cool. You should wash it. It's your trusty partner. <laughs> yep, one that saves me from all sorts of harm. Uh, Mom, Dad. No clues as to who the antagonist is so far. Oh, no. Aside from the fact that they're probably not, they're pro they might be human. No. Hiya, Vanilla. Bonjour. Hello, Hack. Cheerful as always. Hmm. <laughs> People are like me for that. Don't want to let her down. <sighs> Must have been hard for a boy your age to overcome the terrors of war. <sighs> yeah, but having me having me around kept everyone in a good mood, maybe. <laughs> Bet that's why we all pulled through. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> My goodness, really? Do tell me more. <laughs> Wait, huh? Hang on a second. Lots I need to remember, you see? Oui? Certainly. Hope to raise. I hope to help raise morale around here, so I would love to hear how you manage such. <laughs> Just wait till you hear all I did. <laughs> So what did I do exactly? Uh... Nil's got her level 1 with everyone at this point.
sure it's a quicker way to see everyone's levels at a glance. Alright, Boron and Sox are definitely still the lowest here. Vanilla's polite to a fault. Yep, that's kind of her thing. Beautiful. Oh my god, Boron, you're killing it! Bunk has been added. Boron still needs to rank up with everyone. Okay, pretty much everyone. Let's avoid going with Malt just because he, Malt's also a, a cannon user. May, May 1st. Don't mean to be too old. Don't be too mean to the old grandpas. Doesn't this hat look good on me? You look cool. It's adorable. Let me try it on. Hehe, <laughs> but I want to look more grown up. Look at him run. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't even enough. Oh, it wasn't the right choice. Go brig if I eat my veggies. Mm -hmm. Um, you're making me a bit uncomfortable staring at me like that. Well, I remember you said if I want to grow up fast, I need to eat a lot. I do think I said eat as much as you can, yeah. But I'm still not big like you. I'm not sure you want to be as big as me. Have you tried eating everything you're served, though? Oui. I eat lots of paw buns. I love those. Oui. That's not really an answer, but I like paw buns, too. <laughs> They're really yummy. Not like vegetables. I don't really like those. Mm. No, huh? But you have to keep a balanced diet and eat everything, you know? <laughs> That's how you stay happy and healthy. Mm. Okay, I'll try. Malt and Boron. Um, Boron's the only one Malt doesn't have. I oh, mean, once you have a sugar snap pee, it's over. Socks could really use them more, though. Sit Okay, so not malt, not uh, vanilla. Anyone else? Hey, how's it going? I've never had sugar snap pea. Actually, I probably have. Yo. We used to. I used to grow peas in my backyard. What do you say? Did you say I hate you? I didn't see that. Eh. Best boy regarding good gains. Yeah. I would have thought we'd be back aboard a tank again. Feels like fate. At least we're all together. We'll never get away. Nancy. If only Hannah was was. Nah, I forget I said anything. So the wrong options. When the baddies strike fast, throw me at him even faster. Mr. Baravoy, there's something I've been meaning to ask you about. Eh. Bavaroy, excuse me. Can we drop that whole Mr. bit already? Cool. 
What do you need now? You're good at talking with girls now, yeah? Uh... First time acquaintances still present trouble, but and I feel there are fatal flaws in my favorite topics of conversation. Hmm. No one has an easy time talking to a girl for the first time. What's this all about combo topics, though? <sighs> well, once we've exhausted all small talk, I tend to speak of things which interest me, see? <laughs> Yikes, about gadgets and inventions and stuff? Doubt that makes for good chatting. How did you know? But yes, it seems to be an excellent opportunity to speak yeah. of my favorite mechanical works. Do you even want to have normal conversations? I think we're good. I really need to crack open my, my food. God damn, are we getting another cutscene? Too much talking. Also, this <laughs> drink got warm because I never opened it. I'm finally here, Belenos. Missed me, didn't you? Un géant difforme se dressait en silence devant le Taranis. Tout en ricanant, Jill fixa Anna et Brits avec un sourire cruel. Les deux enfants étaient inconscients et incapables de prononcer le moindre mot. Yeah. Looks like we finally made it. Guess I don't have any more use for you two. Or that eavesdropping brat. <laughs> I still can't... move. <laughs> well, maybe I can think of one last use for you all. <laughs> An even bigger tank? Damn it. This thing didn't tear right. There we go. Ah, meat stick. La tension montait au sein des enfants, car le Taranis ne semblait pas avoir l'intention de s'enfuir cette fois-ci. Celui qui les pilotait avait l'intention d'en finir ici et maintenant. Time to finish this once and for all. Do you still plan on fighting with us? Why are you doing this? I don't care who you are. Give Hannah and Brits back right now. I know why. En guise de réponse, le Taranis ouvrit soudainement le feu sur le Tarascus. Merde! Oh, so much for talking this out. Je reçois des images du Taranis. Transmission sur les moniteurs. Anna! You gotta win a saver! Damn it! That leaves us no other choice. Hannah trapped in the Traber, <coughs> Brits in the gun turret. Reduce the chamber HP to zero to stop Tyrannus. Good formation for now. We <laughs> attack the delays all targets. Uh oh. Attack that delays one target.
That's a sound from modern Sonic games when Sonic takes like Anna. water, like timer stuff. Hana, wait, don't you recognize us? Mm. It's not working. I need to think of something that'll bring her back to her senses. Why are you doing this? I know you're strong enough to beat this, Hana. I am... No! That's it, Hana. Interrupt Soul Ken and countdown. Successful awakening. The Soul Ken is temporarily disabled. Get the big guns in here. Emergency protocols have been engaged. What? Britz's gun turret has been replicated, allowing for three times the number of attacks. What? Ah! Is Britz being forced to control all the newly gun turrets all at once? <laughs> That's far too much a burden for any single one of us to bear alone. Impossible. That's terrible. <laughs> we need to deal damage to the Tyrannus. The sooner we take it down, the sooner we set Brits free. was injured by the enemy's attack. Characters become vulnerable when injured. If injured characters are injured again, they'll be knocked out. Quickly swap out characters on the formation screen. No. We gotta go for this. Shit. Depression. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Impossible or cannot be. Anna. Snap out of it, Hana. Uh -huh. mm. I'm not getting through to her. What can I say that will get her to respond? We can't go on without you. You still got a, a lot of work left to do. That's it, Hana. I totally devastated that. That link attack was so lucky to get now. Oops. Tyrannus still wants to put up a fight? What the hell's the plan here? Is it trying to destroy itself? Anyway, hurry up and teleport them over. Let's move in close. Ooh, that was my neck again. Ouais. 
Save them. They're safe. Don't worry. Le transfert d'énergie des maras et les particules d'énergie dans l'air se rassemblèrent à l'intérieur du Tarascus. Only Brits was teleported? What about Hannah? It's not jamming our systems anymore. Must be Hannah. Quick, teleport her over. Fuck it. Do it anyway. Okay. Once we've rescued Hannah, we won't need to fight anymore. Just do it. The particles of energy échappèrent à nouveau du Taranis. No. Wait, something's not right. Mm. Why isn't the Tyrannus firing the Soul Cannon even though Hannah's in the chamber? Mm. Besides, that attack earlier didn't feel intentional. Shouldn't that other kid be in the Tyrannus too? <laughs> Who cares about that loser? All I care about is getting Hannah back safe. It's Hannah, not Hannah. Or I don't know, maybe it is. L'énergie échappée se rassembla une nouvelle fois au sein du Taraspus et commença à dessiner une silhouette humaine. Ouais. All right, it's Hannah. We got her. <laughs> Watch out. Huh? Hana, yeah. ce moment, un rayon de lumière venu de nulle part foudroya le Tarascus. Holy shit. Oh my god! Frappé de plein fouet, l'unité principale du char explosa dans un rugissement. L'impact était tel que les particules de lumière qui avaient commencé à se rassembler se dissipèrent sous les yeux des enfants. Anna! Sans comprendre ce qu'il s'était passé, les enfants sautèrent hors du Tarascus et tentèrent de s'en éloigner autant que possible. Le Tarascus explosa dans une lumière aveuglante. It was the point of leveling that thing up. La carcasse se changea en particules de lumière qui volèrent dans tous les sens. Jesus, I didn't see this happening. Les enfants restaient bouche bée, dans un silence qui sembla durer une éternité. C'est pas vrai? The Tarascus. How could this have... Anna... What happened to Hannah? Les enfants regardaient autour d'eux avec crainte, sans toutefois trouver trace de leur ami. I know, she must still be inside the Tyrannus. Ils se précipitèrent vers le Tyrannus, désormais immobile. Mais tout ce qu'ils trouvèrent à l'intérieur fut le gilet d'Anna. Anna? You're kidding me, right? Is this some sort of sick joke? No, it can't be true. The teleportation failed. Could that beam of light have been... Where's Hana, huh? Where'd she go? She should be right here. She's supposed to be with us. How could this happen? The war is supposed to be over. Why did it have to come to this? What in the blaze has just happened? Inform me of the situation at once. Mm. It seems they were unable to save their friend. One of their ranks have per. 
What's that rumbling? Something approaching from further in. <gasps> Something shaking. It's coming at us from further inside. Oh lord, what is this? Depuis le fond du complexe duquel avait émané le rayon de lumière, émergea une silhouette gigantesque. Huh? I knew it, he's human. What's this? Looks like the Tyrannus managed to survive the blast. Guess you bunch of sad sacks made it too. <laughs> you. Huh. I was trying to blast you all to hell. Looks like luck was on your side. Oh, boom. You're the one who did this? Yeah. Let's try this again, shall we? Think you would withstand another shot from the Belenos? <laughs> You're gonna pay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. You're gonna pay for this! <laughs> I'll make you pay! Au moment où Jill s'apprêtait à attirer avec le Belenos, les particules de lumière éparpillées du Tarascus se mirent à briller. Come on. What's going on? Les particules se rassemblaient autour du Taranis, comme absorbées par ce dernier. Is this going to be a bravely? What? Oh, fuck. Never mind. Le Taranis s'enveloppa progressivement d'une lueur dorée, si éblouissante qu'on ne distinguait plus sa forme. How could you? How could you do this to Hana? Hana! Hana! Monster, you're nothing but an overgrown bully! Hana! Hana! You. you did this! Give her back! Give Hana back to us! Happening. Why does my chest hurt? Ooh. No, it's happening. I require a report in full. Ooh. I have no idea either. What's happening to the Tyrannus? Its shape. This doesn't look like just mere self regeneration. Did it actually fuse? La lumière yes. Le Tyrannus s'atténua, révélant petit à petit son apparence. None of this was revealed in the trailers, so this is all a surprise to me. Le char géant arborait autant des airs du Taranis que du Tarascus, tout en semblant à la fois complètement différent. The Tyrannus and Tarascus fusioned, giving birth to the Exo Tyrannus. Je vois. Interesting. Looks like the Tyrannus had a hidden ability I didn't know about. Whoa. Looks like the Tyrannus had a hidden ability I didn't know about. It can do more than just regenerate. It can evolve. <laughs> but Belenos isn't working at full capacity just yet. And I'm sure what other aces you got up your sleeves. And I'm not sure what other aces you've got up your sleeves. I think we'll bow out for now. <laughs> Once Belenos is fully back in business, we'll be ready for another round of playtime. Sur ces mots, le Belenos se mit en marche vers la sortie, laissant derrière lui le char et les enfants. Encore sous le choc, ces derniers ne pouvaient que regarder le Belenos s'éloigner, impuissant. Is Hana really dead, though? I mean, that was such a weird situation. I guess that means we've got room for one more party member. Probably the Jin was his name from the previous game. We haven't seen him yet. Wappa's also missing. Traveler. Look who it is. Headed for Semayid next. It's a nice place with its Anju Cathedral and tranquil forests. My friend in the Gasco forces tell me they're finding these insectoid machines, insectoid machines all over. I hate bugs. Centipedes most of all. 
Be careful out there, okay? You kids are piloting that behemoth. Thought it was just a war tear. This guy's dressed like I am. Like I do sometimes. I don't wear collared shirts like that, though. Well, I guess I do with that. I wear short sleeve collared shirts. If I wear my, uh... My, uh... Sweater vest. I'm going off on a tangent here. I used to be in the Burman army, but I left to set up shop here. Folks took me in and I appreciate that, but not everyone's so accepting. I get why, of course, but sometimes even the grocer will turn me away. We just have to bear it. People tend to forget. T people tend to take time to forget grudges. One day we'll all get along. I'd like to believe the same. That's why I set up shop here to help everyone out. Sorry, I didn't mute that quick enough. As long as not those in silverfish, hell no. Doc says I need to get more fiber. Before I knew it, I'm back at the butchers. We can take that meat off your hands. Hand over carrot times three. Well, can't say no to the perfect opportunity to get more veggies in my diet, can I? You'll trade me for this then. Do meat. I can just grow more carrots. Carrots. <laughs> Why the long face? Something got you down, lad. No. I'm... It's fine. I'm the eldest. I can keep it together. Mm. Mm, well, if you say so. By the by, you wouldn't happen to be chance to be interested in a copy of the latest comic pages, would you? Thank you. <laughs> my friends will be happy to read this, I think. <laughs> you should give it to read yourself, my boy. It tears me up to see children look so sad. <laughs> Do I look sad? I, I can't show it. Yeah, I think this guy's another human, too. Also, the comic is referencing stuff... From Salada Robo. So I'm thinking whoever's writing it is uh is more knowledgeable about things than we think here. Also, white hair. Dead giveaway. Most humans in this universe that show up have white hair. I pray that your spirits lift soon, lad, if only a little. <sighs> Thank you. You the kids who got the port running again? Had some stuff I needed shipped off quick, and you really saved my hide. Here, let me show you a little gratitude. Nice. Piece of meat. His human ears, too? I didn't notice that. History of Gasco 3. After the fall of Parisia, the representatives of Gasco debated who should take next lead, and it was not long before Pharaoh, the second largest city after Parisia, the one much one spared much of the destruction faced in other regions, was nominated. Presidency was left in the, Parisian, in the hands of Parisian President Muscat to stave off any political unrest which might brew during a power vacuum. In order to bring a swift end to the turmoil of fragmentation, President Muscat worked promptly to negotiate a ceasefire with the Burman Empire and focus all efforts on Gasco's restoration. Sucre and the... Uh, is it... I don't... If, if anyone knows how, can tell me how to pronounce that. Sucre? Sucre? I don't know. Sucre and the others proceeded with preparations for exploring the ruins. Meanwhile, elsewhere... Deep in the Juno ruins... <laughs> I found it at last! The greatest treasure of all! The ancient energy... Sucre. Okay. The ancient energy source Juno. It's all mine. Count Novalune will never know. Will never even know. <laughs> this guy looks like the villain of Tail Concerto. <clears throat> but this alone won't do. I still need to get the other up and running. But that's precisely why I gave those fools that intel. I'm sure they're headed here right at this moment. <laughs> to be continued. Juno, the tanks, why is it all getting referenced in this comic? Henry the others have been attached to the hips since they were knee high, but in an instant the promise of joining them in the peaceful future they fought for was stolen away.
It's a great... Uh, unfortunately, this was a trap that took advantage of a flaw in the teleportation process. I'm confused, exactly. What exactly was the flaw that didn't work? Ow. It hurt my hand a little bit. Jill, a mysterious boy found in the Tyrannus. His strange psychic powers allow him to levitate and control children through powerful mind control. Male, 14 years old, question mark? Race, also question mark. <sighs> yeah. I have a hunch, but we'll see. Oh yeah, he does have human ears. You could see it vaguely outlined on his face. Border. He's now named question mark? No. <laughs> He's... It's... It, <laughs> He's the rival from Gold, Silver, and Crystal. An island featuring nothing but desolate, untamed wilderness in the northeast of Gasco. Living conditions are so inhospitable here that the population has been gradually migrating to other islands. Several such rocky outcrops featured painted motifs and icons have been discovered throughout Gasco. Some even house deadly traps and bloodthirsty creatures within. The decaying edifice of an enormous looming ruin. The entrance remains sealed tight and it's said that none have ever entered its within its depths. So there's still three characters here. Jin, Wappa, and, and Brits. Well, Brits is one of them, obviously, but... Jin, Wappa, I guess? If Hannah's not rejoining us? Illustration by Rikose. Don't tell me this is gonna be this has been Earth all along situation. Um... Spoilers for the rest of this series, if you haven't seen it or played it, uh, that is exactly what this is. It's it's a, it's it's long been established that this series takes place on Earth. In Solata Robo, which I streamed, um, you in fact go down to the Earth off the Flying Islands and you find out what exactly happened. The only piece of land on Earth that still remains in, on Earth is is Australia, apparently, like like a small piece of Australia where this tower is kept. Where the uh, where the Juno is stored and stuff. It's it's confusing. Watch a playthrough of uh, Salada Robo. Yeah, that's where the tower is. That's what that's where the Juno tower is that you go to in, in Salada Robo. It's in Australia apparently. Exo Tyrannus didn't really change anything. Almost at level 2 uh, empathy, though. Flame ammo and smoke ammo. Oh, those are expensive. Really missed the bartering system. Never mind, I got a ton of money now. Well, now you got access to both cannons, right? I thought that the Tyrannish, I thought that the Tarascus just had a soul cannon, but no. Now we have both. Not that you want to use either. No, because the soul cannon in this game is auto. You don't have the choice. If you if you get too low on HP, I think it's automatically loaded up to fire. Discount 20. I need four rough tools. Okay, that's good. Uh, one pine wood and one wooden branch. I heard a firework. What? The only way to prevent is to fire with either with minimum time limit or fire the other cannon, yeah. Plots, and we don't need to expand that again. We, we've already expanded those both. Seven gat. yeah, that's expensive. 
We can exp expand these two, which is the most important thing. As for the upgrades, we really need to be getting some items here. Please expand. Oh, I thought you could get level 4. What? Highest. Oh, okay. The highest level is, is, is 5. So I can't do anything here until I upgrade these further. I need, uh, I need some rusty coils, though. A couple rusty coils. Alright. Actually, no, let me, let me buy another couple silk lines, too. The Monogarm is a one-time big damage attack, so it's probably not worth KOing someone, even in desperation, yeah. At least not in a boss. Well, I mean, it's also, you know, that's more story-related. Tank is all loaded up, ready to depart. All aboard! Chapter 4 The Shadow of Trees. Here's if Malt can be soul cannon like in Fuga 1 because the leadership mechanic's directly related to him, yeah. Holy cow, is that what it looks like now? Mm-mm. It's the other tank. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Avec le Belenos entre ses mains, Jill mit le cap sur sa prochaine destination. Cependant. L'expression du garçon montrait plus de frustration que d'allégresse. Damn it. Damn those annoying brats. Yeah, they don't let you melt Brits in Fuga 1 until he rejoins, if, if you get to that point. Otherwise, you just kill him. Yeah, spoilers. He kind of turns on you because he's not completely loyal because of uh, wavering heart stuff. But if you beat him and you have a high enough affinity, he stays, and apparently that's the case with Vanilla in this game. They straight up tell you at the beginning, Vanilla's important. Make sure you bond up with her. And yeah, no, this time the kid's chosen at random. You don't get to choose who gets removed and put in it. Yeah. Looks like we finally made it. Guess I don't have any more use for you two or that other eavesdropping brat. <laughs> Ugh. Well, maybe I could think of one last use for you all. <laughs> Jill prit le contrôle de Brits et le transféra dans la salle du canon des âmes. S'il te plaît. Stop this. Why? Why are you doing such horribly cruel cool things to us? Huh. Hmm. Cruelty is all I've ever known. I've always been subjected to it. Treated as nothing more than a weapon of war. They even took Mama away from me. Mama? No. The cherry on top was sealing me away in the Tyrannus. I was locked up in here, sleeping away the years for longer than you can imagine. <laughs> Finally, I can make my own decisions. Do what I want to do. I'm not about to let you brats ruin everything. You, you must have been treated horribly. Your heart must have been broken so many times. It's like you've forgotten you even have one. La ferme. Shut up, shut up. You've got some nerve, you beast. Espeste. I wish you all would just screw off. <laughs> Everyone, I'm... <sighs> what the hell would some feral creature understand? Don't talk like you know what I've been through. <laughs> Pity me all you want. Just Don't just stand there and pretend like you can so easily grasp the pain I've endured. <laughs> it would seem you've reacquired control of the Bolanos. Uh... You again. Yeah, but the auxiliary generators seem to be somewhere else. I'll need them to get Bolanos firing on all cylinders again. They were the Tyrannus AI? No. They were just... I don't know. 
They weren't the AI. They were just sealed somewhere in the Tyrannus that we couldn't see. The AI was Jean from the previous game. The, the woman. Oh, wait, actually. No, no, you might be right. Because there were two voices coming from the Tyrannus in the first game, weren't there? Wow, I never thought of that. So he was the other voice the whole time. Maybe he... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. I could provide you with the location of the generators. Gasco has undergone some major changes in the past year, let alone since your time. I'm sure you hardly recognize it. Eh. I'd appreciate the intel, but what's in it for you? <laughs> I simply wish for the same revenge that you seek. Surely you could see that our interests are aligned. Fun pot. Whatever you say, I'll take whatever help I can get. Oh. A most pragmatic decision. Mm -hmm. Let me offer just one word of advice. Don't waste your time entertaining the fantasies of those children. Huh. I make my own decisions. Me. That's why I woke up. To do whatever I want, however I see fit. Yeah, this is actually a little confusing. I've seen the whole plot, but it doesn't hurt your head a little. Hmm. Inside the revived Tyrannus. <sighs> oh, where am I? Fritz, thank goodness. Revenu à son état d'origine, Brit se réveillait lentement dans le dortoir du nouveau char gigantesque. Quelques-uns de ses compagnons étaient rassemblés autour de lui, tandis qu'il reprenait ses esprits. Ne t'inquiète pas. You're... Well, it's a little hard to explain, but you're on the Tyrannus. How do you feel? Merci. I'm all right. Thanks. Oh. Wait, where's Hannah? On the Tyrannus, then she must be here too, right? Les enfants ne lui répondirent pas, mais les pleurs autour de lui suffisaient à comprendre la situation. Impossible. No, it can't be. <coughs> Damn it, Hana! <coughs> Les enfants éclatèrent en sanglots, incapables de retenir leurs larmes plus longtemps. Bring her back. Peter. How awful. This can't be real. Oh, no. 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 She was here. Now we'll never see her again. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's not true. <laughs> she was so happy. How could she be taken away now? I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. Malt, qui tentait de maintenir le calme dans cette atmosphère pesante, s'adressa à Brit. Brits, mm. tell me what happened on the Tyrannus. Everything you can remember. Every detail. Mm. Uh, sure. I'll tell you what I can recall, but I mean, are you okay? Mm. Tell me. Okay. Uh, there was a kid none of us knew inside the Tyrannus. A boy. His name was Jill. Brits expliqua que Jill, le mystérieux oh, garçon, Just dormait like au sein du Tyrannus avant okay. même la destruction de l'ancien monde. Before the collapse of the old world. L'un de ses objectifs était de mettre la main sur le Belenos. Malt's eyes are glassed over again. Belenos was just one of the things he was searching for. Jill. So that's his name. Jill. <laughs> Let's move out, everyone. We're going after the Belenos. After Jill, right away. Mart. Yeah, let's get him. We'll make him pay for what he did to Hana. <sighs> but I... I don't think I have any fight left in me. Les sentiments étaient mitigés. Certains étaient déterminés à poursuivre Jill pour se venger, tandis que d'autres étaient paralysés par le chagrin. I get that some of you don't want to fight anymore. But I have to go on. I can't let Jill get away with what he's done. I'm going. There's nothing else I can do. Yeah. Let's make him regret everything he's done. Papa. You're right. I know you are. Uh. It's Hax's voice. Uh. How is Hax here? <laughs> like how her name's Hax. His name is Hack, and then the villain's name is Hax. What? How did he not disappear with the Tarascus? Oh, 
cool. We get not Hitler supporting us for the rest of the game now. It's rather strange hearing him say that. I'm kind of glad you didn't disappear, Hax. It's good to hear your voice again. Speaking of saying strange things... There's no time to waste. Let's get a move on. Why? We have to go after him. We have to hurry. He can't get away. Uh... Malt. Rich, join the crew. There we go. That's what our beefy new tank looks like. Oh hey, this is a direct remix from Salada Robo. It's it's the remix of Sem Semoid's uh, Semoid's theme from that game. Malt's not himself right now. Yeah, who would be after all this went down? Child has been injured or knocked out. Battles will seriously be affected if you do not act. Let's use the dormitory during the intermission to get them back on their feet. Child has become depressed from the severe stress of battle. Fresh children cannot use skills or link attacks. Have another child talk to him to cheer him up. It's now possible to expand facilities. Expand them from the facility menu. Find items in the... Why? What, what? Now possible to select, select ex expedition from the observation room. Raising AP, you can explore all the ruins you've discovered so far. I want to eat sauerkraut. I'm hungry. I want to cheer up a depressed friend. I don't feel like doing anything. I want to cook in the mess room. I want to play in the cluck and shed. The observation room is now unlocked. Facilities can be expanded. New ruins have been added to the observation room. With the tank's functions restored, lifts in one section are now available. Except vanilla, all the children are affected by Hannah's death. Infinity increases, but link events will not be triggered. This can happen due to the effect of recovering from someone's death. What the fuck? I don't hold my arm around here like the rest of you. It could happen- yeah, if you fire the soul can, it's gonna happen again. You're doing better every day. It's never li too late to learn how. You're one of us. But not well enough yet. I know it's feeling slightly better. Let's try harder. I'm almost smiling a bit. Seems to have worked. Oof. Merci. <sighs> no, it's feeling all better. Yeah, pretty much made up for for those first two fucking up. Okay, so there's no more exploring the area. You just get that automatically now when a chapter ends. Which was weird, because in the first game, you couldn't get the first two areas until you were in New Game Plus, because you didn't get the access up here until Chapter 3. First, select the ruins to explore. When new ruins are discovered along a route, they will be added here. Better items can be found in higher level ruins, but the difficulty will also be higher. So you can essentially just do those again. No one wants to go to the ruins, so we're not going to bother right now. Yeah, there was a, a thing previously where you could also use the telescope there to, like, observe the surroundings. And what that would do is it would get the three pieces of information for each area, but now it just happens automatically. And the first two areas you went to, you didn't have access to it, so you had to play New Game Plus if you wanted those in the, uh, in the, uh, the library. Not that it really matters. If you wanted a 100% Fuga 1, you have to play through the game, like, six times at least. Mul multiple times.
Injured children, you know, okay. Uh, anyone want to sleep? No, but since we're putting him to sleep anyway, we might as well do it with the, with the other people here. Super piercing shot. Three hit attack with two armor rank decrease on an enemy. Okay, so level nines are very close to leveling up. May being the lowest. What does she actually want to do? Cook in the mess room. If we make sauerkraut, that also, uh, takes care of the other characters. Are the images grainy due to the current mood? Yeah, I think so. Play the cluckin' in the shed. Span the fishing stand. Okay. You don't actually need to do it with the characters, but I might as well. If that's what they want. Something in the garden, play with the clucking in the shed. So, socks and mace are, are the lowest right now. Could upgrade all of these, though we don't have time to. It would take ten to do all of them. Let's watch it. Let's do the harvest, because we definitely want more stuff as soon as we can. Strawberries we need, tomatoes we need, and carrots we need. Again, I love that this is the exact same stock sound. <laughs> Finally showed up, did you? Lucky you. <laughs> he with greater knowledge fares best in battle. <laughs> oh, and shall he shall test your memory as well. <laughs> Show us then, how much do you truly know? What happens when an enemy adds stealth to itself? Its evasion increases. 
will, that's correct, fluke or otherwise. <laughs> and that's all that matters, is that they're correct. Excellent work. Uh... That's all, return we have more for you. Piercing shot levels up to four hits, cool. Aww. I'm just like this one, I should be strong. Nice. They're both senile, yeah. Even though it's, they, they say the thing that works best for them, the thing that's best about them is their cunning. So I can make these two next uh, inter intermission. Get some extra power and HP. I don't know what's awaiting for us, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a generic uh, thing here. Oh, the music's different now. It was on before because of the glitch. Joined us? It was Brits, right? I was able to make this many friends because I met you all back then. Introducing new character features. Blitz uses a fast speed machine gun with high accuracy. It also has skills such as Blitz Spear, which shocks enemies. I don't think he has any link attacks with anyone. Don't you mean Brit's Spear? Damn it. Super piercing shot. Oh, he gets the upgraded version. R. Blumen Wesp. Enhanced unit of the type of uh, enhanced unit type of the Dung Wesp with a giant bulb. If it hits a tank with a bulb that absorbs HP at each turn, defeat it quickly before it uses that skill. Attack that may inflict shock on an enemy. Charge the bulb. <laughs> Fuck. do anything to delay it further. Red Bulb, attack that absorbs HP for five turns. Oh, and it does damage as soon as it hits, too? Ugh.
That's annoying. Someone's got 100% and two playthroughs of this, apparently. Man, that's fast, yeah. That requires some extreme work to do. Unless it's easier to do this than in the first game. Spuzb. Normal route, safe route. On well, the normal route here... Oh, I see. It's not highlighting ahead because there's a different normal route ahead. Again, I wish turbo mode was more of a, a hold instead of a toggle. It's just annoying to switch out of it. SSA. Normal route again. Ah, uh, these enemies. Esmerico, so extremely high evasion. I'll feel the battle after a certain period, but if you defeat it quickly, you can attain a high amount of experience points. It says 400 HP. Piercing, oh, everything's 50%. Four, wow, it's even worse. Okay. It's all vehicles you counter on unmanned? Yeah, supposedly they're all self-working in this one. Thousand each, thousand experience each. That's not too bad. Piercing shot levels up to piercing shot two. yellow. Oh, malt. Actually, to be honest, having all of the same color when there's only one color doesn't help you. It just makes it easier to delay them. You're still doing more damage with the cannon than you are with the uh, grenade launcher.
Though the flying enemies definitely are better to just use the uh, machine gun on, just because the, the accuracy is just so shit without it. Abs again. Uh, mm, this tank seems to have combined the qualities and functionality of the Tyrannus and the Tarascus. What a marvelous piece of machinery! Uh, we should have no problem grinding the Belenus into dust with this. We beat the Vandergan before, didn't we? That's right. This should be a piece of cake compared to that. No. Let's not put the cart before the horse. We need to stay realistic if we want to bring Jill down. <laughs> He's the one who killed my father. I'll string him to death with my own bare hands. <laughs> Do what you want. Just don't forget. It's easy to kill and easy to die. People die all the time. No. Malt, you're scary. Excellent. Well, you have to explore the runes. Explore the runes. Shrine of the Moon God. Pretty sure we did this last time. Shrine of the Moon God. Remember that one? Find the key and open the treasure. I need electric bullets for that one. My crystal can add a lightning attribute to your toy gun. If it has another attribute, that attribute will be replaced. Toy gun with lightning attribute can shoot electric shots. Electric shot temporarily paralyzes enemies and can also activate switches in the ruins. Ruins have these crystals that will definitely need be need of them, so be sure to look for them carefully. The door has opened. Pew. Oh, I think that was holding the key. Yes, it was. There are some enemies that jump that you could go under without having to attack them. I remember that. Ancient Jewel. New skill, Master. Mystic Veil. Small HP recovery during an ally's turn for five turns. Cool. Regen. I guess we see a little further down the route. This one has six battles.
Give some effect. All attacks become critical. Nice. Plowing. Hero mode has terminated. Okay. Oh yeah, and the upgraded's do not take more SP, thankfully. Wow! Thank you so much, Chick, for, for doing that. Wait, is that Chick? Who's the, the machine gun? No, it's Hack. Well, Chick and Hack were linked together, so it does count. Oh. That really saved, it, saved this battle from being long and arduous. Triple S, baby! Swift Shot has leveled up. Now can be used to max four times. Repulse Shot. Uh, increases damage, further delay an enemy. I guess it only works if it's the attack that delays them. Because if an enemy's already delayed, it won't work. Oh, we got a rank up. We got an affinity up. <sighs> Malt, are you okay? Uh -huh. Why wouldn't I be? No. Um, never mind. Don't worry about it. D. This tank is a fusion of the Tyrannus and the Tarascus, right? Maybe we should check and see what the functions are the same and which changed. Lee. It might do some good to keep our minds off things. Why? You're right. We can't just let Joe get away next time. We better get acquainted with the new arsenal at our disposal. <sighs> but I don't need to get anything off my mind. <laughs> What's on it now is all I need to keep driving me forward. <sighs> mm, from the outside looking in, it looks like it's driving you mad. All right, I'm going to take another quick break, and then we'll do one more, like, two-hour and, like, maybe, like, 15, 20 minutes of, the, of this. Yeah. Alright, so 
gonna stop the recording and I'll be back on stream in just a second, but on YouTube, it'll be tomorrow. Sucks to be on YouTube, should've watched this live. 